It is almost one year since Kenya 7's winger William Mbaka left the country to ply his trade in France. Mbaka headed home to visit his family after playing professional rugby in France. He was born and raised in Kitangela, in the outskirts of the capital city Nairobi. Mbaka was one of the standout players for the national rugby sevens team last season, and just like most players in the country, he took an interest in the sport while in high school. Yeah, I used to play football, soccer till the age of 15. Then I, when we moved to Nairobi, that's when I came to know of rugby because uh, in my childhood days, I never knew about rugby. So my friend Brian Amino was the one who told me like, why are you playing soccer? So that's when I went with him to the training grounds at Carry Few, mini rugby. And uh, I came to find out the game is really good. In 2009, Mbaka joined Kenya Harlequins, one of Kenya's top rugby clubs. His hard, powerful running and tenacity on attack earned him the nickname Lomu, in honour of the New Zealand All Blacks legend. It feels good because Lomu is a legend, but honestly, from where the nickname came from, I don't know. I just woke up one day and found people calling me Lomu, which was pretty <laughs> scary, I think. <laughs> yeah, but it was at the same time amazing. He's big. Fast. I'm fast too, but not as easy. Yeah. Mbaka's form grew tremendously and he earned a call up into the National Rugby Sevens team in 2011. He was even selected into the IRB Sevens Dream Team last year after his impressive performance on the pitch. The award is one of many that has a special corner at the family home. This is my trophy cabinet. Uh -huh. And uh, my favorite trophies are actually this one. The first favorite trophy, mm -hmm. being the most valuable player in the 2012 Safari Com Sevens. Nice. An Australian agent who had been following Ambaka's exploits on the pitch contacted him on social media and gave Willie, as he is fondly known to his peers, an offer he could not resist. At first, came, I came to know about France when somebody from Australia called Don Damien contacted me on Facebook. Actually, he was like, "You, how do you feel about playing professional rugby?" And um, I told him, yeah, I'm interested. And then that's how he introduced me to the current coach of Lou Rugby, called Tim Lynn. It was easier said than done. The trip to France was challenging, and he arrived in Lyon a month to the start of the new season. Communication was one of his biggest obstacles. Most of the team, my teammates, like, speak French. We are like a handful of guys who speak English. And some of the French guys who speak English, you can't understand what they're really saying. So. We had to go to a French class. Ambaka slowly found his stride and he was able to transition seamlessly into the new setup, scoring eight tries in nine games. A back injury mid season slowed down his momentum, but he bounced back to play a key role in Lyon's promotion in the French Premiership League, the top 14. Ambaka's skills that were sharpened in France are what the Kenya 15's technical bench will be banking on for the World Cup qualifiers. Ambaka's mother is also happy her son is back after being overseas for close to a year. Yeah, it wasn't very easy for me because I wanted him to concentrate on his studies. And then looking at rugby, the way that game is played, it's a very rough game. Yeah, so at first I was not very happy, but I came to understand the game and get to accept that he has to play the game because it's like it is his talent. Preparation for the World Cup qualifiers included a game against the Western Province of South Africa, a game that provided the passionate Kenya rugby fans with an opportunity to watch the diamond in the rough that is William Baka. At only 24, the best is yet to come.